I'm excited, a little bit nervous. It's a enormous responsibility and um, it's going to be a difficult task to rebuild some of the trust that I think we've lost with some community members, not the entire community. Um, and, and I think it's going to be equally important to build that trust back up with our police officers in the investigations that IEB conducts. I actually started as a Lakewood police officer um, right after college, graduated from uh, CU Boulder with a degree in journalism. Um, I joined the Lakewood Police Department, spent two years there, then I wanted to come to the big city and um, so of course I chose to apply to Denver and started um, my career as a Denver police officer on March 1st, 1983. I was a field training officer, sergeant, lieutenant, just kind of moved up the ranks. I actually took over the uh, division, um, the patrol division um, in February of 2007 and almost immediately we started planning for the Democratic National Convention and the deputy chief at the time asked if I would take the crowd control piece of um, the convention which was a huge project but made sense because it would involve mostly patrol officers so um, I had a great staff um, I got to pull a lieutenant from District 2 Stacy Goss and I had a uh, Corporal Steve Palka who's an expert in uh, less lethal munitions for the department we went to classes and um, what we finally wound up doing is taking the best practices we could find from a variety of different um, different philosophies and create our own crowd control um, program that was unique at the time um, and really relied on a rapid response to events as they unfolded so that we could go in, take out people that were committing criminal acts, get them out of there and, and quiet things down again so that the peaceful protests could continue. That was really our whole goal, to keep the convention safe and allow for freedom of speech. Well, my son is 17 years old. He's a junior in high school. Um, and um, I am divorced, so there have been challenges at times with call out and responding to the needs of the department while still raising my son, but um, I'm lucky in that I have a lot of family support and uh, he's an amazing kid. I, I'm a police officer first and then a female police officer second, um, but I do try to mentor um, police women if, if they ever have questions or you know, try to guide them along in their careers. I think the biggest piece is do your job. Just do your job. Go out there, be the best police officer you can be. Um, take promotional tests if that's what you want to do. Um, if you'd rather go the investigative route and become a detective or, um, or stay in the patrol division, train new officers coming up, I just do the best job that you can do um, and, and treat other people fairly and you'll earn your fellow officers respect by the work that you do and then you'll earn the community's respect by being fair to the people that you're dealing with. Myself and my partner Michael Graham were working District 4 um, in the southwest um, segment of the city and it was Christmas time and this was before the Christmas Crusade was the enormous event that it is today. It was just starting out and so we went to a house. Um, the family was obviously um, not real well off and they had been burglarized and these people that broke into their house stole everything that was under the tree, ransacked the house, took pretty much everything they had. So. Um, we were lucky enough that the Christmas Crusade was just becoming available, so we put that family in and we actually got to deliver the gifts to them and they were so appreciative. And just, it was just one of those things where you felt like you did something good.